Hey, this is Clay, CPAT My Way, CPATMyWay.com. Today we're going to talk to you a little bit about the Air Mini. A uh, long overdue video for us, to be honest. Uh, but the Air Mini from ResMed has been out for about three years now, and um, it's by far the smallest travel CPAP on the market. So we wanted to go over some basic operation as well as some pros and cons and our personal review of it, as well as some tips and tricks uh, about buying it and about using it. So. Uh, Enjoy the video. If you find the information useful, please remember to like, uh, hit the thumbs up. If you want more info, subscribe and uh, comment with any questions or concerns below. We'd be more than happy to address the anything we could. So thanks for watching. Enjoy the video. All right. So the Air Mini is the smallest travel CPAP on the market still to this day. Um, it is obvious. Uh, the unit's only uh, 5.4 inches by 3.3 by 2 inches and it only weighs 0.66 pounds, so just over a half a pound. In addition to that, it's a really quiet unit, so um, it's only 25 decibel noise level, which is pretty close to a, a home CPAP, to be honest with you. Um, when you first buy the Air Mini, it's important to know what's in the box. So in your box is going to be your power supply, obviously your user manual, a nifty little travel bag that I'll show you in a bit, and then obviously your Air Mini. The thing that is not in the box is your Air Mini specific tubing or the Air Mini specific mask. You will have to make sure that you actually get that product separately if it's not included with the purchase of the, um, of the Air Mini. That's a big contentious thing for a lot of people that order it. It does not come with the tubing unless you're actually ordering the kits uh, separate or, or it's included. Um, overall, the pros that we have on the Air Mini is obviously the size and the weight. I mean, that really is just about unbeatable. Um, the thing just about sits in the palm of your hand, and if you're traveling, you're not going to notice it in a carry-on luggage by, uh, for sure. The other thing that's really cool is the ease of use. You know, if you enable the auto start and auto stop features in this unit, really all you got to do is get it out, plug it in, um, hook up your tubing, which we'll show you in a minute, and, uh, and just start breathing. The thing turns on just like the home units does, turns off when you take the mask off. Um, very little maintenance on it. Obviously, if you're not using a heated humidifier, which this doesn't have, um, you're not maintaining water or anything like that. So that's kind of a cool deal. It also has a really nice app, the Air Mini app, not to be confused with the My Air app. The Air Mini app is specific to the Air Mini and it does a, a really good job of sending you reports daily of, of uh, your unit and will Bluetooth to your unit so that you have uh, direct connectivity. The cons are the mask limitations. So um, the one big thing that... Uh, this, it is the biggest con. You, you can only use one of four ResMed masks, the P10, the N20, the F20, or the F30. Now that also includes the Air Touch F20 and the Air Touch N20. So I guess technically six masks, but you are limited to those particular masks. Uh, no off-brand or uh, opposing brands at all. Uh, the other thing that it doesn't have is a designated battery. So pretty much all the travel CPAPs have like a battery designed for their specific unit. This does not. However, it works with a couple of the off-brand batteries really, really well. Uh, specifically, the Freedom battery does a really good job on it. Uh, we've seen the single battery last three nights with this. So that's, that's a pretty cool deal. The other thing is that there's no heated humidifier option. So some of the other ones do have a heated humidifier option. This does not. You have to use the uh, brand specific HME heat moisture exchanger. They're called the Humidex. I uh, will show you a little bit more about those later too. Um, the other thing that's, uh, you know, probably up for debate, but we've heard a little bit about is that the, um, the exhalation is a little bit loud. So um, you'll notice here where the HME goes. We'll go over it later when we install the HME, but We've heard that this is a little bit uh, noisy on exhalation and that you can hear your breath kind of going through this area. Well, you know, that's probably obvious because it's going through the little HME, so it's gonna have some, some airflow noise there, but I haven't found it to be anything significant and you can obviously determine yourself when we put it on here in a minute. The, um, the again, we have the four masks that fit it. So the uh, P10 N20, F20 and F30. For demo's sake, we're going to do the N20 today with N20 adapter. Um, the uh, accessories available for it are uh, a couple of different travel cases. This we've got here is the hard case, the one I kind of recommend the most, to be honest with you. Um, 
it fits in there. It's kind of like a sunglass holder, really. You look at it. it, zips up, and it's a nice hard case, so it keeps it safe in your luggage if it's getting jumbled around. And the, the hard case will actually slip into this soft bag along with the rest of the supplies. So your mask tubing and this hard case slip in there really, really well. Um, so it's available separately, the hard case. Different, additionally, there's a soft bag. We're not going to feature it here. It's not one of my favorite accessories. The soft bag really isn't my favorite because by the time you use that soft bag, it's almost as big as a, as a regular travel CPAP bag or as a regular home CPAP travel case. And uh, we'll link it. Here's an image for, for you will pop up, but um, it, it is on the website. It's just not one that we sell much of and I don't really recommend it all that much. Um, additionally, we have the uh, hard mount. So if you're gonna be using this as your primary unit, the hard mount is a really cool deal for you to actually uh, use, uh, you know, bedside. Um, then additionally, you've got all the disposable parts, like so your Humidex, this is the Humidex Plus. It's uh, available in standard as well. And then of course, your uh, tubing, which is specific to the Air Mini and uh, whatever mask you're using. Uh, as far as maintenance on the machine, before we get to the usage here, um, you've obviously got the HMEs, which uh, are good for 30 days, they say. Um, so you're supposed to dispose of it after 30 days, uh, get a new one. They're available in a three pack like this, or I think a six pack as well. Um, so they're, you know, get you a few extra along with it. Additionally, on the uh, intake here, you'll notice all these little ported holes. There's a filter inside there. So if you push down, it's kind of a little bit tricky, push down, pull it off. On the inside here, you've got a little disposable filter. That disposable filter needs to be, um, it slips right here actually, uh, it needs to be thrown away after 30 days of use for sure. Or if you notice it's starting to get discolored, then once you get it on there, just uh, slide your uh, cover back over and it's ready to rock and roll. So you'll notice on your Air Mini tube, this is the one designed for the N20. You see the N20 adapter here at the end. It's obvious which end goes on to the uh, the Air Mini, but you'll need to make sure that you get it lined up. So there's two little grooves and two little slits. Just slip it in there and it will clip into place. To remove it, you have to pinch those clips to get it out. Um, so you'll install that right there. And then this end is going to go to your N20 in this particular case. So got the N20 here. You notice it has its own connection for a standard CPAP tube. So we got to take that off, put it to the side. And this just clips in the exact same spot. So same deal, push the buttons to release it when you're ready, but it clips on just like that real simply. This is where you install the HME. So if you give this uh, clear plastic part a little twist, it'll pop loose from the white plastic and you've got a little open cavity there. So that is where you're going to put your heat moisture exchanger, HME, or uh, ResMed terminology, Humidex. The colored side goes down, so just you'll even hear it kind of clip in there. So it has a little groove that clips into place that it doesn't you know, fall out very easily. And once you get that in there, all you have to do is put your uh, top back on and twist it to the right to lock it back into place. The next thing you'll hook up is the power supply. So um, we're going to use the portable outlet just for demonstration sake. That's a cool little battery. And um, so you'll plug it into the wall or a battery, whatever you're using. And then right above the, uh, the tubing connection is your, uh, your power supply connection. You just plug it in right there. All right, so now that we've got the power supply connected, you'll notice the little light is on uh, above the power, letting you know that it has power. I'm going to put it on and let you hear it a little bit. Just slip the Air Mini on, I mean the M20 on. Okay, I took a deep breath and that's how quick it turns out. I didn't have to touch anything. So that's at full pressure. If you get right up here, you can kind of hear the exhalation. It's, I would say just a little bit louder than a normal uh, CPAP breathing. But not significant, my opinion. When you so when you take the mask off, just press the power button and shut it off uh, and the, it's done. The other question we get a lot about this particular setup is can you use a CPAP cleaner on it? So um, you can, yes. We've actually uh, used it very effectively with the Sleep 8 uh, and uh, VirtuClean 2. Both of those do a good job on the disposables of this. Um, 
And that's the Air Mini. It's a great option for travel CPAP. There's, uh, there's not a whole lot to it to complicate it. It is by far the smallest. So uh, we think you'd really enjoy it. Thanks for watching. And again, if you have any questions, just pop them in the comments below. We'd be happy to answer anything that we